Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Empire TV Tycoon. Ooh, let's go, uh... God, I hope I have my programming already set. Looks like I do, maybe anyway. A uh, production assistant, a staff member found on YouTube a girl with incredible voice, but only a thousand followers. It would be nice if we include her in the production. Sure. The girl is a rising star, and the song will be a hit. Remember to give her a big thank you. Uh, to the staff, uh, give a big thank you to the staff that found her. Okay, so we've got uh, a new song for that TV show we're working on, and it, it looks like it uh, went over quite well. Okay, I'm just shy of the, the fans needed for um, getting the upgrades, but we are poor. Okay, so we're set with kids. We need we need some movies. Uh, let's see, so we've got Brother Bear. Not a bad fantasy thing. We'll throw it We'll throw it to the nerds. Uh, do we have any TV ads? we got Panucci's Pizza. Expires tomorrow. Audience, yeah. Okay, if I can get that going, we're good. I mean, I figure out how to appeal to the sports people. So I need a, a single block sports thing. And we need to go sell, sell some films. And buy some new ones. Unfortunately, we're running low on cash. But if I can get those ads off, we're good. If I can't, we are in trouble. I don't know how this is going to go. Okay, so let's see. Freshness. Freshness. There we go. Let's sell Supercrass, sell Super uh, Graffiti Bridge. We'll get rid of Brother Bear at long last, which is good, actually. It's a uh, meaningless thing. Also, we have barely escaped. Didn't realize that I had, uh, I still had that sitting around. Okay. Kicking and screaming. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Yes. I'll pick it up. That is expensive business, but it was actually comparatively kind of cheap and exactly what we needed for the time block. I think it would have been nicer if we could have gotten a single time block sports show, but I don't want to wait. Yeah, and it should actually appeal to uh, women as well. I think. I, I don't know how things are weighted here. Anyway, TV ads. Uh, mellow yellow. Okay. So in that case, we need to go. We need to get some more ads. We've got what else do we got? Uh, so ideally, Apollo, Apollo candy bars will be a cinch. Mellow yellow should be easy enough, and Panucci's pizza should be fine. Okay, so let's let's go up here. Let's take a look at uh, our our employees. I have not been using the marketing manager that much or the audience analyst. I think I should. Okay, let's see. So what do you got? I can just upgrade her level. That's expensive. What can you do? Okay, so we can... Press advertisements are that expensive? Wow! 4% more viewers in this block. So, you know those, like, radio ads we started with? Hot damn. We should not have used them in the beginning. We should have saved them, like, crazy, because they are expensive. Then again, once we get, uh... Once we get better, we'll have more money. And should be able to afford much more advertising stuff. In fact, if I wasn't so wasteful with all of my cash, we'd probably already have that. Okay. So we could do Alabama Fried Wings. Mm-hmm. Do you get anything? We've got sports taken care of. We could try going for men. Uh, well, we've got some time. Let's go, let's go take a look at what blocks we, we need to appeal to. Both movie-wise and otherwise. Okay. So we've got women, rockers. Uh, do we have any more musicals? We've got the Apple. Okay, it looks like we're just barely pulling it with Apollo candy bars. And Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. What's leading right now? The Black Cauldron. Oh, go figure. It's a sort of kids movie. We're all fairly even here. So, I guess it's not terrible. But yeah, oh, because there are nerds, of course. They're pulling in a decent audience. Okay. Uh, so let's take a look at some things for a second here. Uh, so we need we need an ad. Honestly, we need some generic ads. Alabama Fried Wings wouldn't be terrible just because it's some like baseline income. That we don't have to worry about too much. Well, anyway. With luck, I'll actually lead during the second block, time period-wise, just because... Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. 
So, let's operate under the assumption that I'm not going to be doing great. Let's get uh, Fakerari Sports Ed. That's probably good, because I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be getting enough people there. And let's get... I'd like to get Simran Steel, but that seems a little bit harder. Let's let's go for some of the light ads for the time being. Just because I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to fail, and seeing as I have, like, no extra money, it seems a little bit too risky for me. So we've got Panucci's Pizza taken care of. You know what? I might actually be able to sneak that in. Because I get the feeling Brother Bear might appeal to the geeks there, especially if uh, the fantasy movie is doing well. Okay. So then we'll get the other Zender Stratos one. Ha! Hmm. So we need something for men. Well, I've got... We've got Fakerari. So if I can, if I can pull the prime time during the 20... To shoot, are we losing it? Oh, we're so close with the kids. Come on, come on. Yeah, we lost it. We'll get it on the next block, but we'll have to be very. Eh, we'll have time, but it's a it's a wasted income block, unfortunately, unless. We got we got some time. I'm gonna go get the uh, Alabama fried wings. If if our numbers keep dropping, then I'm I'm wasting the ad space. We might as well get something lower that I can get right now. Okay, uh, which is not I mean Menta Spice. As always, Alabama fried wings. Cause yeah, Turbo Man isn't working. All right, Alabama fried wings. Cause yeah, our audience numbers are dropping for this section. So before that ad plays, let's switch it out for Alabama fried wings. We might as well work on it anyway. Okay, TV ads. There we go. So at the very least, at the very least, we appeal to that group. And hopefully for the next section, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle, we'll pull a child audience. I don't know. Maybe fantasy just pulls better with kids anyway. I do not know. I really know just across the board with this game, it's, it's very... It's rough. I'm not going to deny. So we need... We need a musical. We got the apple, it's at 4.5. Do we have anything better? The answer looks to be no. Well. That'll have to do for the time being. And we're running Brother Bear. We want something that appeals to men. Kicking, kicking and screaming ain't a bad choice because ideally that will appeal to all of that group I don't know what else we got here we've got another ad for sports women for the time being I'm gonna throw Alabama fried wings we'll see if mellow yellow doesn't work there I don't know okay well yeah now Harold and Kumar go to White Castle's pulling it because we're not we're not competing with anybody so you get that one at the very least. And Visitors of New Worlds. Oh really, Black Cauldron was a single block thing. Well, that's annoying. It does look like sci-fi pulls particularly well amongst the younger audience, but I'm still pulling it currently. Uh, let's take a look at TV fans. So athletes really like us. Nerds do not. Ooh, nerds and kids. That said, maybe, maybe these will work in my favor. Because uh, I've got I've got a nerd thing going next. Unless I've got a good I got Elysium. I don't want to play it. I don't think I've got any other ones. We've also got a racer that we could play instead of kicking and screaming. Let's play a racer. It's it's a double block for men. And then what else do we got? Do we have? We're already using the apple. So we need something that appeals to older people. I guess we could go with, like, Killer Legends, but I'm not entirely sure if that appeals to old folks. That's an interesting question. Well, either way, we get the, we get the candy bar problem halfway solved, which gives me some leeway here. Okay, economy. 
doing okay. Yeah, so we're not we're not doing terribly, and it does look like we've got we've got some advantages. We just have to watch the nerds and the children. If we can appeal to them a little bit better, that'll be better for me overall. Let's see. Do we have any other nerd blocks here? No. So we've already passed this one. So hopefully, Brother Bear will be okay. Let's see if that are like Elysium, but probably don't have enough money for a one block movie rental. Let me check what's immediately after the nerd block women. Yeah, I think Brother Bear is going to have to be the deal. Hopefully, this game isn't that complicated that they've actually given each movie individual stats. And if they do, oof. Okay. So unless we've got a... Unless we've got a good movie. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, so now what do we want to do? Uh, I could, I could buy hairspray. It's gonna cost me all of the rest of my money, but that could appeal to the late night crowd. But Let, let's let's give it a little while, but first, and let's go up to Red Player's office. I'm just kind of in a state of semi panic here, just because some of these things are not going exactly the way I wanted them to. Oh well. So yeah, we'll at the very least get Panucci's Pizza and Zender Stratos if I'm lucky here. And I think it will. So I think Kicking and Screaming will do well. I think Eraser will do well in the evening. And then it'll get the male audience. Okay, perfect. Oh, we got an email. Optional quest. Your big brother. Today I have a date with a very hot girl. She's a fan of romance movies, so I really want you to arrange a modern and decent romance movie at 21 o'clock. I've been stealing money from you for years. Around 130... Eight. Oh, so this is like actually our big, big brother. So around 138, you know, thousand dollars, and I will refund all the stolen funds to you if everything goes well this night. So you can schedule a romance movie for 21 o'clock. What do we got at that point in time? The apple. Now, does it have to be a movie? And who will that piss off? You know, we could do that. Let's throw in Sex in the City. So now I need a single block musical. I mean, we could try Killer Legends. Is there a way of like looking at demographic information? Because I really want to know what rockers like. Because I don't know. Let's see, we've got upgrades available, that's fine. I mean, we could try throwing on Killer Legends. Because ah. X in the City is absolutely going to go well. With women and whatnot. See, Brother Bear seems to be doing okay right now. Oh, it's dropping a little. Hopefully it won't drop too much. That said, we are currently in the lead competing with a horror movie. Two horror movies. Okay. I'm gonna take a gamble on this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna believe the Killer Legends is gonna do well with the Rockers. Just because it, it seems so so perfect for that block. So what else have we got here? So we've got otherwise ugh, these late night combos ain't great. Yeah, so Brother Bear's holding its own in first. We've got that. We could play the Americano for the older folks. That might not be a bad move. And then I'll get it out of there. Okay, so we've got that taken care of. So all we need to do is know what the last two blocks are of the night. And potentially pick up some new ads. Okay, and we'll get some extra money from the from the quest. So let's see. I guess I'm just gonna go stare at the movie library for the time being. Yeah. We're we're pulling it slowly. 
which I was I was worried about at first. We need single block stuff, and we're not getting a whole lot of it. Also, a lot of these are really expensive. Uh, let's check scaling on money, Sisterhood of the Night. Any of these particularly high rating for the money? The answer looks to be no. So, hmm. I guess speed it up and wait. Because we don't... Yeah, we don't have competition. We've led in two categories today. Let's check TV fans. Okay, so the kids don't hate me as much anymore, but they still are grumpy with me. The rockers are okay. Yeah, so we're, le we're leading with Brother Bear. Barely. We got Sex in the City for this afternoon. That'll, that'll be really good. So... Are we running the apple? Did we already run the apple? No, we haven't run the apple. We could run the apple and aim it at the midnight showing. Oh, we got an email. Uh, Badland Butch. Okay. Empire Pharma is developing a new drug in candy form to augment the viewer's attention span and expand their senses while they watch movies. They offer $10 to have a movie associated with the product to do a real test. This is Badland Butch. Sure. I don't think you're drugging your viewers is a good idea. In any case, we'll see. Mm. That probably was a bad move. Uh, getting the, getting the funds there. Well, either way, Brother Bear seems to be working perfectly, and we get the, at least half of the Zender Stratos, which is great. Okay, now women, and we're going to be doing kicking and screaming, which should be a sport. Might appeal to men. Definitely athletes. Hopefully, women. I don't know about lovers. Okay, what else we got? Academy Awards representative. Day 3, 6 o'clock. Best horror will be tomorrow. So we need to produce a good horror script. Oh, oh shoot. So apparently women do not like uh, kicking and screaming that much. Women like horror. Interesting. Huh. Well, whatever. It's kind of a dump. Oh, shoot. We should check what ad we're running right now. Uh, Panucci's Pizza. That is that is a no-go. Uh, so let's roll Alabama Fried Wings. Because unless I start picking up some more audience members fast, we're sunk. Uh, Panucci's Pizza. We'll throw it there and I can move it around if need be. In that case... I mean, Sex in the City might appeal there. We'll throw it there first, and we'll see what else we got. Ah, uh, so we got Mellow Yellow. Expires tomorrow. No, we need Mellow Yellow here. Ideally, me mellow yellow there, too. And I'll just, I'll throw Panucci's Pizza with luck. Yeah, we're not pulling the numbers that we need to be pulling here. Uh, which is definitely awkward. Oh, well. So, yeah, we'll have... Ideally, Killer Legends under Stratus, maybe. Uh, I don't know. We got some tech upgrades. So, we're definitely hurting on the money side of things. We need to start making some... Uh, some horror scripts, too. Let's go for a very good one if I can. Write a new script. Horror. Unfortunately, she's not great at horror, but at least it doesn't cost too much money. Okay, so let's cross our fingers that we do okay in this section. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so this starts... Mellow Yellow. Expires tomorrow. My hope is it doesn't expire at the beginning of tomorrow, though. That would suck. So we're getting there. I guess it really it depends on the next the next block. And if I if I can do it, we're golden. And if I can't do it, we're in trouble. Let's go upstairs and talk to our scriptwriter and see how the, these things turned out. Also, work finished. Okay, script is ready. So I guess we'll be taking a look at our our new TV show. And other stuff. So, good quality horror script. 
Uh, let's see, so what's this one? A delivery boy working in the luxurious mansion decides to hire a retired pilot to help him in the night work. In the middle of the night, a suspicious maid kidnaps the retired pilot and disappears. Trying to escape, the delivery boy confronts the suspicious maid using the, the selfie stick as a weapon, but he fails miserably and is killed. Um... Um... I'm just, you know, whatever. Now, she has gotten better at horror. Let's try writing another one. It's fairly cheap anyway. Okay. And, you know, having a whole slew of scripts is not a bad idea. Okay. So this is Badland Butch. It was a decent movie. Across the board. Okay, well, I mean, 6.1 isn't as good as some of the things we've done, but might not be bad. I don't know. So I need what resources to have a better quality. Okay. So let's let's capture let's capture this one just for future reference. So it's good with visual effects, good with sound editing, quality doses, probably should have pushed that higher. Post production was fine. Original score was bad. Maybe I should have dropped it. Cameo ro rolls. So costume design was bad. Eroticism making my hairstyle. Yeah, I think really just some bad decisions and lower quality acting. Hurt me on that one. Anyway, let's cross our fingers that we lead on this one. Otherwise, we're going to have to switch the ads around, and that's going to be hard. Just because Zender Stratos... I guess it does give me two days, though. Well, it's staying kind of consistent. I mean, it's going down slightly. Holy shit. So musicals are that important, and it looks like Sex in the City was a brilliant plan. Okay, so that's going to make me a lot of money. Work on Mellow Yellow. We got the Zender Stratos ad out. Okay. Uh, Ficarari. That lasts a little while. Ideally, if I can get the other Mellow Yellow done tonight, we'll be really good. Okay, so work finished. Let's go talk to our writer. Uh, let's see, Eraser seems to be doing all right. So what do we got? A good quality horror script. Another one. A farmer working in the crop field decides to hire a retired pro gamer to help him in the night work. A suspicious maid tries to kill the farmer, but he runs away. After an hour, the farmer can't find the retired pro gamer. Trying to escape, the farmer confronts the suspicious maid using the fork as a weapon, but he fails miserably and is killed. Like... Like selfie, but with a fork. Because seriously, that's the same movie. Okay. She's getting better at horror, though, so let's let's keep working on it. And let's go see what upgrades I can get. Uh, let's go downstairs just for a second, make sure everything's going alright. Holy... S um... What? I forgot to put a show on. I forget. What? I forgot to put a show on for this time period. I squandered things. We didn't get Panucci's pizza. It's okay, we got everything else. Okay, what do I have that I can just throw on Badland Butch? And ads. Alabama Fried Wings. Fakery Sports Co. Hold the phone. How'd that happen? How how do they suddenly have like a bazillion fans? TV streaming. You hire a fourth worker. More points when working on movies. I don't have the money. 
Okay, let's go back to Red Player Office. TV ads notification. Advertise if notice you've upgraded your broadcasting audience so the agreement has been broken. For any advertisement that you don't have, at least one of its blocks has been filled. Good news is that the advertisers like your new status and they offered ads with better conditions. Okay. Upgrade warning. Oh. That's why he had so much more. Holy shit. So by by being on, on TV, that's why they're rolling me right now. Holy shit. So is that just for tomorrow? I have no idea. I have no idea. I will keep that in mind, though. Man, I got... I got stomped. I'm getting stomped. Alright, well, maybe for tomorrow we'll be okay. Let's go to... Let's go to advertising agency for the time being. I don't know how to use the... The new thing. Wow, these are... These are all of the new ads. That said, they make a lot more money. Okay, so that's how we're going to be able to afford a lot of these things. Okay, well, that's good. That was unexpected and hurt real bad. I, I had no way of even knowing that was a thing, though. But I will keep that in mind for the second playthrough of this. Damn. Well, it's okay. Panucci's pizza, we, just, we can probably still recoup it. And if it can't, it's going to hurt real hard. That's okay. So let's just speed up for the time being. Okay, one minute warning. I don't know. Wait, bought a worker desk? Extra money? Nope. It's, uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Let's just go to the red player office. Actually, you know what? Let's just... Let's just save and quit. And let's just talk about what happened. So, I missed a block. I screwed a couple of things up. I lost an ad. Ultimately, I should be fine, though. I think. Uh, I just have to play a little bit of catch up. And hopefully, hopefully, they don't get much of a lead from it. That said, uh, that almost would inspire me to start over off camera or something like that. <sighs> or on camera, I don't know. And beeline. As soon as I get up to 75 fans immediately go for TV streaming. Like, that caught me with my pants down, because I had no idea it was even there. I was too busy struggling to even get, you know, the standard day's content out. So I will keep that in mind. I don't know. I guess I leave it in your guys' hands. Should I start over and, uh, you know, forewarned is forearmed? Or should I, you know, just go for it now? Yeah, I'll probably just go for it now. I don't know. I'll leave it, I'll leave it up to you guys, though. Either way, though, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Empire TV Tycoon, and as always, thanks for watching.